Hello, this is the tutorial for creating a maze, a maze drawing by hand. Um, so last time we were together, we looked at the whole goal of this project was to use lines uh, to put together to create some kind of visual flow, something that takes your eye through the design. To do that, you're going to use a variety of lines, and that's when we also looked at these five line types. Okay, for the maze, you're going to use a lot of vertical and horizontal lines, but if you're really good at this and creative, maybe you can figure out a way to use these other three, diagonal, zigzag, and curved. Okay, and again, the whole goal is to create something that has a nice visual flow that carries your eye through the whole piece. Um, this project is really a challenge for me. My brain does not work very well uh, with this type of, an, uh, of a creation of art. Um, my husband, I think I mentioned before, this used to be something he would do for fun, starting when he was about 10, 11 years old till he was about 14. And over at the high school, he published some of his mazes in the Spartana, the, the homestead newspaper, if you will, that went out. Um, he really enjoyed this kind of like problem solving, dead ends, puzzles, things like that. So maybe your brain works like this too. Um, what I did to try to wrap my head around this is I just did an image search online uh, and typed in mazes for kids. Okay, and really there were kind of two types that stuck out for me. Um, the first one is they started with a general shape, okay, of something. And, uh, and sometimes they were just rectangles too, but I, I prefer the artsy looking ones. I prefer the ones that that look like something and that you would start with that shape and then establish a start and a finish. Okay. And then from there, you're going to create all these different options using mostly vertical and horizontal lines. Okay. For how to create, you know, this maze that works. And for example, oops, I'm done with that path. That's not a good path. Okay, and then you keep working. Some people like to finish, you know, start at the finish and work their way back. You're not just solving a maze, though. You are creating a maze. Um, maybe that has one or two possibilities for, for options that work. So maybe you want to do something like that. The other option I saw um, was to create like a storyline that went here. So this is one I pretty much took from a, an online resource. It was just a big thing of ice cream. Okay, and so I began by drawing the container of ice cream. Now, I'm not doing this freehand. No matter what I'm doing, I'm going, even if, if I'm doing this, I'm going to start with this paper. Okay, and I will have this linked for you. This is isometric grid paper. Okay, iso just means same, metric, measurement. So these, are, these dots are the same distance apart. Okay, so I went in and I drew the outline of my shape. And then they have some kind of a story, like help, help the baby turtle find its mama, help the dog find its bones. Here I have help Stella. Okay, Stella is this little girl. Okay, help her, and she's holding a spoon, help her find the ice cream toppings. Here's her entryway to get into the maze. Okay, and then the exit up here is going to lead me to her ice cream toppings. Okay, but then on the inside, I'm going to be using a ruler and I need to start figuring out a path. Okay, so here I'm going in. If I go this way, oop, I'm at a stop. If I go this way, maybe this will lead me to another stop or lead me ultimately to this exit path. Okay, so you can start from the start or from the back. Remember, you need at least one path that works and a lot that don't, okay? And so that will be the project you're working on the next three days. And this will be due, this is your final project um, for this rotation of art. So you'll have three in-class days to work on it, um, and that should be plenty of time. I hope that this challenges you and it's fun for you. If you get into this and you're like, oh my gosh, no way, stop and choose another project. Um, but I hope that this is something that you really enjoy and that you can create a really neat visual flow 
um, using your eyes, kind of flow around your piece. That's really the whole goal of this project. Okay, I look forward to seeing your creations.